This is what I have so far, my two builder figures that I'm trying to build right now. This is Fin Fang Foom. So far we're just needing that head and neck, but I got the piece coming in the mail. We need the whole left side as far as the arms, the left arm and wing goes, and I just need the tip of the tail. But Fing Fing Foom is almost done. Now my boy Pitt right here, all we need on him now is just the arm, the, the uh, right arm. And that's going to be it for my two builder figures I got Ronin on the way in the mail from Marvel Legends. I also got uh, Brimstone from the DC uh, Universe. And I got several other surprises as far as uh, Builder Figures and Collecting Connects go. All right, stay tuned for these guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Sahaman, and today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Spider Man movie. Uh, this is from the first movie. This is the, pos this is the super posable Spider Man. Um, this is released. This was released by Toy Biz, and if you guys watched one of my haul videos, I showed you guys in the package what the figure looked like, and I got this figure for for a great price, and he's actually a really really nice um, Spider-Man figure. Again, he's from Toy Biz, and he's from the Spider-Man the first uh, the first film, and in the um, um, it's it's it, he comes with a uh, gargoyle little display base, and I'll I'll get into that in a second. The he, he can hang from it, but I'll show you guys all that in a second. But let's get a close look at Spider-Man. So he is a really, really nice figure. And again, he's super posable. Get the, let me get the zoom to adjust on this guy. You can see, I like the I like this Spider-Man. I really like how it looks. I like how, the, how you can feel the, the little webs on him, the texture of him. I think that's done nicely, and it looks really nice. You can see the little texturing on his suit as well. There's a spider logo. There it is on the front. You know, I'm, I am a fan of the Spider-Man suit from the movie. I don't know if a lot of you guys are, but I do like it. You can see there's where his uh, web shooters are right there in his palm. That's pretty nice. Detailing on him is great. He, he, he looks like the one from the Marvel Legends uh, Spider-Man series, Spider-Man. I don't own that figure, but looks like it's like based off the same um, um, like design. Now, I'm going to go over his articulation because, you know, he is super posable. Uh, the head can go up and down, can rotate side to side, can also tilt. The whole neck moves with it. Arms go in and out, but not too much. It seems like if you were to go out more, it'd break. Um, he, the arms can go forward and back as well. He is, uh, is he double jointed? I can't tell through the camera. Yeah, double jointed um, elbows. The wrist can go in and out. Also rotate. He's got a little rotation in, this, in the, uh, in the um, forearm. Now he does have finger articulation only in the two fingers so you can get that web shooting pose there. It's really cool. Or the rock out pose. Uh, same thing with uh, this hand. You can get those two fingers to go in. Bam. He does have upper torso articulation, which rotates a little bit, and he can crunch, but he can rotate at the waist, so that's good. Uh, legs go in and out, forward and back, double-jointed knees, rotates at the leg, uh, rotates at the lower leg, toe articulation, foot goes up and down, and it can s rotate side to side very little. He, I love the way how it just like how he just rotates so easily, like you don't have to force it. It's just very very like light, very nice. And again, I told you guys he does he does come with a uh, a little display base that you can mount on the wall. You can see it has a little you know part there where you can put like a, one of those tacks on there. And this is a very nice looking gargoyle base. You can see the detailing on it. Really really cool. Now I'm I'm definitely gonna mount this on my wall and pose like I'm probably gonna have like Spider-Man posed on it some in some like crazy looking pose since he's super posable. But um he does have this little hook here which can you can pull down. There's a little rope. And what you do if you know if you want to do it this way, you just put the little hook around his wrist. It's a little tough to do, but there you go. And um, I'm gonna lift the camera up. There's a little button on top of the uh, base there. So what you do is you hit the button. Let me get the camera to adjust here. You hit the button on top of here, 
and that's what it does. It's <laughs> it scoops them up. That's exactly My what it does. My phone died on me. Sorry about that, guys. A little edit going on there. But I'm going to show you one more time on how this works. A little gimmick that he has with his gargoyle base. So, pull the string. Ugh. It happens so quick, though. This is going to be really, really quick. And you just push the button up top, like I showed you guys. And there you go. That's uh, a little gargoyle base he comes with. You can just clip this off. It's a little tough doing this. I'm afraid I might break the, fig the figure's hand putting this around his wrist. Yeah, see, I don't like doing that. Probably have to do this off camera. So be careful when doing this, guys. Oh my god, this is really tough to take off. No, oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, I thought I broke him. So again, this is a nice figure, definitely, definitely worth picking up. He's from the Spider-Man movie uh, series, and he is super poseable, so the articulation is just great. The detailing on the figure is great. I like the outfit. I like how it looks, the whole texture and everything. The figure looks really nice. He does come with a really nice uh, mountable, wall-mountable gargoyle base. You can either display your figure hanging from this, or um, you know, if you you guys can pose him on top, like in you know some sort of a cool way on top of the little display base. I think that would look really, really nice. So that's cool that he comes with this. And um, I do plan on getting the Jonah Jameson uh, um, f figure as well, and actually other figures from this series because the Spider-Man figures on on this uh, on the movie series actually look really nice, and they're by Toy Biz, so you know they're going to be cool. Okay, guys, this is Seha Man, and uh, today we were looking at the uh, <coughs> Spider-Man movie. Uh, Part 1, Superposable Spider-Man with a Gargoyle uh, base. This is Seha Man. Hope you guys enjoyed my review, and we'll see you guys next time.